Hi everybody, I'm Kevin with Candle Science. We get a lot of questions regarding candle making math, calculating your fragrance oils, determining how much wax you need for a project, and so on. If you find this to be a little bit difficult to wrap your head around, you're not alone. So let's go through this step by step. The first thing you're going to need to do is determine how many candles you want to make of each fragrance. So let's say we want to make six straight sided tumblers using our cactus flower and jade. The next step is to determine how much each of those containers holds, and for that you can reference our website. Now keep in mind, you should always weigh your materials on a scale, as opposed to measuring by volume or in fluid ounces. We will list the wax weight for each container that we carry on the product page. Now that we know that each of these containers holds 8.5 ounces of wax by weight, we can multiply that by the number of candles we're making in order to determine how much wax we need total. So for this example, 8.5 ounces times 6 is 51 ounces of wax. So the next step is to determine how much fragrance oil you're going to need, and that does get a little bit more complicated. We recommend starting at a 6% fragrance load, which is roughly 1 ounce of fragrance for every pound of wax. But you can go higher depending on how much your wax can hold, and you will always find this information listed on the product page for your wax. Once you decide on your fragrance oil percentage, you can use that number to determine the overall amount of fragrance oil you're going to need for your project. And no matter what the batch size, this formula is always going to be the same. You take your percentage of fragrance oil, multiply that by your amount of wax, and it's going to give you the amount of oil you need for your project. Now, this is where the math gets a little bit intimidating, so don't be afraid to pull out your phone or use a calculator to help you with some of this precise math. You may find it easier to convert that percentage into a decimal first. And to do that, you just divide it by 100. So 6% turns into 0 0.06. If you're using 7%, it would be 0 0.07, 8% is 0 0.08, and so on and so forth. But again, for this example, we're going to stick with 6%. So if you take that 0 0.06 and multiply it by the 51 ounces of wax that we need, you're going to get 3.06 ounces of fragrance, and that's the amount you need for your project. Now, many scales will not be that precise with their calculation, so it's okay to round up or down slightly, but you're aiming for that 3.06. So now we know we need 51 ounces of wax for this project, we need 3.06 ounces of fragrance, and that's what we're going to use to pour these six straight-sided tumblers. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this video helps you to calculate the amount of wax and fragrance oil you're going to need for your next project. If you like the video, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And as always, if we can help you in any other way, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always here to help.